Oh, thank you for the follow, man. Much appreciated. Yeah, I think there's a there's a lot of the old player base is quite um, is quite salty, and yeah, then um, a lot of the I think there's a lot of new ones coming through that aren't quite as bad, but it, it's kind of hard sometimes when um, you know there is quite a lot of salt. People get sort of tied up in it. Um, Right, so we're on Fen Dunlock. I do not know Fen Dunlock. It is one of the newer maps, fully made by Swift. Right, so we've got Olev with the uh, triple horror guards. We've got Hero with the double scouts. Always loves watching. Um, uh, Right, so let's have a look what's going on. We've got the Apo, and he's accompanied by scouts and uh, some blah, 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 tack marines. Sorry, it's been uh, we're, we're getting on for three hours while I've been streaming. It's getting it's getting tiring. It's one of the longest streams. He's got his whole army in now. Uh, So Hormagot's having a little bit of a run around, so uh, we've got Olev capping up the map down the right hand side. Um, and then uh, so this is where it looks like we're going to fight. So he's decided to go in for the power. Managed to avoid any fights until he's got his shotguns up. He's got the sanguine chainsaw. So we get those um, that energy or that health back on hits. Oh, interesting. The power is very close to the base there. Uh, almost getting caught out by it. So it looks like we're going to see a trade of powers. Putting pressure on the Ravner Alpha. You can see every hit giving him that health. You got anything else on the way out? Nope. So it looks like he's going to lose his Gen Farm. Looks like it's going to be traded. In come the Warriors. Heel popped on the uh, Apo. Gets a special. Flame is up. And the shotgun blast, so that forces off the warriors. So he has lost his full power farm. He traded power farm. Looks like Olive's got the better side of the map, uh, better, better uh, set of resources. Um, gonna come in, put some pressure on these Hormigans, which are forced off. Does have the victory points, 40 point lead, not a huge amount. Uh, Say it's going to be rough, but there's a lot of melee on the field. He can only shotgun so much. So shotgun blast goes in on the warriors, and then in come the hormigans on the backside. Tax take to this garrison, but the flamer is facing the wrong way. Out comes the flamer now as they come around this front. 
So another shotgun blast. Scout's in a bit of trouble. Are they going for a garrison as well? Going to dive in this garrison. Nope. Going to run past the garrison. Repopulated his power. Uh, whereas Olev hasn't. Does have the wreck to do it. Scout's just getting back. Cap it up where you go. Maybe you want to look to get his power back over here. Interesting that they both chose to cap near the, the victory points. Like I say, not a big... Never seen this map before, so it's all new. So we've got the uh, grenades from the uh, APO. So we've got the Bob Strangler for the Warriors now, putting on that suppression. And out comes the APO. Now he's picked up his point down here. Scouts trying to take out the tunnel, but all the goods are on the case. Victory point lead about to hit 100, so he's got a nice, nice victory point lead. Resources wise, seems pretty similar. Olive seems to have a better grasp of all the uh, points. Oh, pops two warriors, and down goes the tunnel. Right, in comes the second attack squad. Cabin up the right hand side of the map now, so it's all we're getting to that point where it's 50 50 split across the middle line. Attack's getting in some cover, putting pressure on the Ravener Alpha. Space Marines coming down to defend against these Hormigans. As they're in melee, they're taking uh, reduced damage, but in goes the grenade. Manages to defend the gen and the node. No scout grenades. All of about to hit tier two. Dark hero not far off. Scouts running around right hand side of the map. Trying to be all sneaky like. Warriors getting disrupted by the APO. Scouts in support with that knockback if need be. But here comes the second Hormigan squad. Dark Hero doing well there to wait on his shotgun blast. If that was me, I'd have taken it way too early. Put us under pressure. So we've got a call in. Oh, so we're going to lose some horrors. He's going to lose. Oh, does that reinforce? So the Ravener drop obviously reinforces as well. Obviously didn't come in. So he didn't get the uh, drop in early enough to get the reinforcements. Tags out, under cover. Spore mines out now. Get shotgun blasted. Spore mines pop. Spreading gunk all around. Tap marine should be able to shrug it off. They got the A pole to get a bit of heal. Still a 200 point victory point lead for Dark Hero though. About to hit tier 2. Plenty of power in the bank. Olev has got the power for tier three. If he wants to, he needs some more wreck. Or we might see him go for another unit. 
yeah, it's gone heavy with the melee, so we matched to some Gene Steelers. But I think you'd want heavy melee warriors for that. About to be a 2 1 cap for Dark Hero, applying that victory point pressure. Again, at 200 points ahead. Tap Marines get out of there. So, what do we see? So, we see Scout uh, Sergeant on the tacks. Uh, so, two Scouts, uh, two Tax Sergeants. Nothing on the APO. Olev. Obviously, had to do a fair bit of reinforcing. He's dropped his um, wreck right now. Pops a warrior model. Apo goes all in for those warriors. Gets hit by Bob. Strangler shot, suppressing him. Still getting that heal on, even with the. Then going for the drop pod himself, now he's Dark Hero. Is it just a reinforcement one? It is just a reinforcement drop pod. Uh, this Revenant Alpha could be in trouble, but the suppression on the a bolt stops him getting that final swing in. Tax now can grab a heal and get a full bash on Ola. It does have a lot of power banked up. Dark Hero could go tier 3 and does so. Olev could go tier 3 or he could get pretty much anything out at this point. Still got his Hobbits popping around. Looks like we missed a, potentially missed a grenade. No, it can't be a grenade. Must have been a shotgun blast. That's another Hobbit squad down. I think it's going to be very difficult for Olev from here. Just struggling a little with unit preservation now. So the Tap Marines sat in the cover of the drop pod, also going to allow them to reinforce. Pop and they shall know no fear. Danger close on the uh, hive nodes of the base. We're just pinning Olev back. Tax finally decided to get out of there. But he's about to hit tier 3. Not sure what Olev's doing. It's massive float. So, go for the regenerate. Give yourself that extra health and health regen. Olev goes to three now. He's only got three units though. Bravaders, Warriors and Hormagons. Meanwhile, Dark Hero. We'll wait to see what he goes for. Not far off Terminators. Has this noted now. Hormagons again coming round for decap knows that this is weak is he going to go for the decap now or is he going to go for the power bash going with the bash tax with sergeant and a flame are going to come in and flame himself some bugs so you get out of there wouldn't surprise me if we see the Oh, going for Terminator. 650 for Terminators, if I remember. I think we're about to see some Terminators drop. 
Unless he's going for the predator. Which again, I think is one, two, five power. That's the army of the Apothecarian, allowing to sit here and just tank up all this damage. Uh, Tax Sergeant comes in. Apo is going to have to go pretty soon. But it's just, oh, and that warrior model just knocking over and damaging everything in his base. Just literally struggling to dislodge these tacks. Meanwhile, we've got cap it up the left. Then we've got a second tack squad coming in to reinforce. Going to see a tier 3 Lictor. So the Lictor's out, which can use his jump to get in there. Um, not sure what Dark Hero is going for. Is he going for a Land Raider? Kind of makes you wonder whether or not that's just for the lols. So both tax marine squads are forced off, but in the meantime, he's capped up the majority of the map, taking out uh, the majority of a Hormigan squad. Oh, starts on the tunnel just as a Ravenna pops out of it. So, I think we're going to see a GG cut. Well, GG is going to be cut pretty soon because with 40 victory points, four units. Well, I suppose Dark here only has four, but he's got level three scouts, level three tax, level two, level two. Well, they have two, one, two, and one. So, lacking in levels. Going in for the cat, needs the VPs, he's got to get them. Really not sure what Dark Hero is going for here. Um, he's got a thousand two hundred wreck and two hundred and fifty power. And Warriors pop. Uh, we've missed a without number somewhere because we've got some upgraded Hormigants and Termigants. He has lost his scout squad, and this one has got away just. Maybe Dark Hero wants to think about. Maybe maybe he's going to replace his scout squad. Maybe he thinks he's got enough. Who knows? They will be done soon. So, what? <laughs> oh my god, Dark Hero's going for a this this just feels like a meme. So I've got I've got three hundred power in the bank. Is he just gonna spam razorbacks now? He's literally just gonna spam razorbacks. Just how many razorbacks can he get? What's his pop? Sixty one at the moment. He's going to be able to get three or four. There's one razor back. He's not even moving it out. This is literally for the memes. 
So he's 64. And out comes the Razorback. So it's 10 per Razorback. So he can get another two. Needs to be careful because there is a carn effect on its way out. So you can't just meme it with... Ah. Where's the first one? There's the first one. There's this... So, ah, I'm just going to meme it out. Make some raise back. Sit in base. Ooh, interesting. Interesting. Dark Hero is doing this for the memes at the moment. He's just doing it for a laugh, I think. So, let's have a look at the Razorback. Um, ability, smaller weapons. Uh. Oh, there's nothing on the codex that's... Uh, oh, yeah, that's no, it's the whirlwind. I'm looking on the codex. Right, so... Um <laughs> I'll, I'll, I don't know what all I was going to think here. It's just going to be like... Uh, so, we've got the Karn effects. He's not levelled up. Are you probably thinking, what the hell is going on? Uh, two, two tack missile launchers. Oh, look, look at those Raveners melt. But he could just keep getting in and out of the Razorbacks. He's going to get in the Razorback. <laughs> this is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I just want to say somebody clip that. Right, well that's clipped. <laughs> well, there we've got a... Orbital on base. The memes. He's still got two Razorbacks left, one's about to die. He's taken out two of things. He could just sit there in his base and force him off. Uh, he's freed up Pop for another three Razorbacks, but instead he's going for a Dreadnought. But he does want to think about capping at some point. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he wants to drag it out. Potentially. He's about to lose uh, another razor back. Oh, he's now going for the meme of how many dreadnoughts can we get? And out come the extra hormigans. The thing is, he's still got 
a 260 VP lead. He's going to let his tax die. Goes for the grenade. But we're going to see a drop pod come in for these tax. Tax going to come in and cap. So it's a one and one cap. This is our first dreadnought. Second dreadnought is baby so he's, he's had I've had enough of this. I'm gonna play sensibly now. See, if it was me, I'd have moved him up and let him come and protect, but uh needs to be careful of these tacks. Needs to be very careful of these tacks. Uh, drop it in. I'm assuming some Raveners. Needs to get those Tac Marines out of there. No, it's... Uh, here's some Raveners. And up comes the Dreadnought. This is literally just for the lols. So... Oh, we're going to go in for the cap and Dreadnought saying no. Uh, <laughs> putting in another... Another orbital. Picks up the... Uh, Lictor, but there's no... Nice, nice bit of lols. Gotta love it. <laughs> oh, they're dropping the. <laughs> you didn't concede. Fair enough. Can't really grumble at that. Oh, there we have it, guys. That was that was quite a fun game. I, I do like watching Dark Hero play. I think he does some crazy stuff sometimes. So. Oh, no, up to 4K, that's fine. I could live with a 4K bitrate. Out of interest, guys, those of you in stream, um, this is the first real Dawn of War 2 stream I've done in a while. Um, so please do let me know how the picture quality is, sound, sound levels, stuff like that. It'll be good to know. I might get one more game in. We are pushing over three hours now, which at the end of the day is on top of a day's work. Well, I say work, but uh, GG's all round. That was fun. Simply can't pick up uh, another 1v1 low level. We don't want to do that. 